How many of you have ever experienced like you really, you really want to know something, you you really need something, and you all of a sudden that thing that you really need it sort of shows up. It shows up in your life in some way. I'm going to tell you something. That is not a phenomena that belongs to just a few of us. It's a phenomena that belongs to all of us, but just a few of us are looking for it. Mm. You see, and so the more you begin to look, the more you'll begin to see that we are incredibly wired to this thing that is bigger than us. And this thing that is bigger than us is always trying to talk to us. Yeah. And it really is it, the, the push and the drive of our very innate nature is to get us back to a level of homeostasis where we know ourselves and we are in sync with this thing that is bigger than us. And so I was yearning. I was yearning. And not yearning is a different feeling from, you know, just curious or, mm -hmm. or desiring or yearning has, it has a level of pleasure and pain. Because when you are yearning, there's an ache in it. You want it so much that there's, a, there's an ache in it. And the pleasure is, is that you want it so much and you see that it has the ability to make a difference in your life. I was yearning to understand how it is that in one part of my life, I felt confident, I mean like in in many parts of my life, I felt totally confident. And then in this other part of my life, particularly when it came to auditioning and stuff, I would be freaking overwhelmed. I would be out of my body. I would be out of myself. And I didn't consider myself, I don't consider myself a fraud. And I couldn't understand how it is that I could be so whole and then so lost. And I yearned to know more about that. And there were no books that I was reading that explained it. I just walked with, how can that be? How can this be? How can this be? And how can I be on the other side of it? I don't believe that anything is broken, but I, uh, but that's one of the lies that we buy, mm. right? Brokenness is a lie that we buy. Mm. But if, in fact, you think about, you know, if you've, ever, if you've ever stood before a trick mirror, it distorts your image, but you're not distorted. <laughs> but the image will make you think you are, right? And so... That whole idea of brokenness is that. It's one of those, those trick mirrors that lie to you. But I, um, I went to sleep and I had a dream. And when I woke up, it was so clear to me the answer to that question that had me yearning. It was all in that dream. And the upshot was that right inside of each one of us, there are three, and this is, I, I, I'm not trying to tell you you've got three selves inside of you. What I'm saying is that this was the model. This was the way I got to catch sight of something. And in catching sight of it, I was able to work with it and it gave me answers that moved me beyond so much of my of the lies that I had swallowed and now it guides my life so the three selves were are the surviving self the thriving self and the infinite self and I will just quickly say that the surviving self we all know it it's that self that no matter how good things are going it's always looking for what's wrong. It's that worry, doubt, and fear. It's that other thing, you know, that otherness, like they not like me, you not like me, this not like me. So the surviving self is one. 
The other is the thriving self. You all know the thriving self. There is nothing good that has ever happened in your life that you reached for that didn't have at the base of it hope and a sense of possibility and a sense of curiosity, those energies that elevate us. We all have it, and when our life is working, those qualities are front and center. We just haven't been taught that, right? And then the last one is the infinite self, and the infinite self is today the self that I am yearning to know the most because the infinite self is the part of us that no matter what is happening, it's unmoved. It's like clay. You can take clay and bend it into a thousand, a million different shapes. But at but the it's essence, still it's still clay. Yeah. I hope you found value in that video. And if you did, would you do me a favor and subscribe? And share the channel with other people in your life so that we can bring you more information in better ways. I thank you for being a part of this journey, and I hope that it's a long ride. I'm loving you.